by Peter Collin, a director of uh, Cura Galleries, once again for a Cura Gallery news break. Peter, you've got a large diversity of work in this gallery. Can you tell us a bit about that? Yes, I can. Glass has got an infinite variety of colours, infinite and variable variety of shapes, and also just about an infinite variety of uh, working it. So, you can have um, a large casting, such as this over here, Moon Phase, Moon Phase by George Aslanis, and you can have a small piece such as the one I'm holding here, a uh, little heart. The Moon Phase is cast and heavily worked after that. It's worth $3,000. This little heart is worth all of $30, I think. Or this little cast um, uh, shell, seashell, and that's worth $50. The gallery caters for all sorts of people and all types of people. We want to be uh, a, a gallery that is accessible to everybody there is, be they art collectors, be they uh, architects who want to uh, decorate a building or be they somebody who wants to buy a present for a wedding such as this handmade uh, blue, beautiful blue glass uh, vase by uh, Rob Wynn which is uh, worth around $200 or just under. So it's very diverse, Peter, not only in technique, uh, style, uh, but also in price. So it's almost like you could start a little collection of, uh, of things and uh, make it sort of a little bit of an annual event where you add it to your collection and start off uh, nice and uh, in the low, low price and then move up as you uh, gathered, uh, gathered your collection. Indeed we can. Um, we will be launching a little book about uh, child collections for children uh, and uh, how they can add to that annually. Or we can uh, talk about a gentleman who comes every year to the Australian uh, Open and whenever he comes, he buys, he in invariably comes into our gallery and buys a piece and he's now got in England uh, ten pieces of Australian glass that he collected over ten years from us. Peter, the, obviously with apartments uh, being really popular, especially in Melbourne now, because we've, yes. we've built thousands and thousands of them, do you often find that people look for a signature piece? Not something that's too dear, but they look for something that is really going to be a, uh, I suppose, a discussion piece a over dinner. A focus in their, in their lounge room or wherever. Yes, we do. And uh, signature pieces are abounding in this gallery and it really depends on your taste, on the colour perhaps of uh, the object that you may want to complement your apartment. It depends on uh, just how extravagant or how inextravagant you wish to be. Uh, we, we cater for all, all people. And the signature piece, definitely, a centerpiece for a table, a chandelier, whatever. So, Peter, the, with apartments, a lot of the spaces have got really lovely shelves and, and little insets in the walls, etc. So it's, it's basically a perfect uh, combination, isn't it, with this type of art? That's right. And it's uh, from the from point of view of uh, economics, uh, the, the difference between a piece of art glass and a piece of valuable painting is enormous and yet the decorative value is uh, often better in glass than in uh, a dark or medium sized canvas. The other thing is uh, lighting plays a big part in uh, apartments and so 
you've got this translucency, haven't you, of the of the glass art that yes. can really be quite yes. spectacular. Art in, art in, uh, glass art is uh, is uh, not just translucent; it can be and has been since the early 1900s used as a light source, not necessarily in the sense of lighting a room, but in giving ambience to the room. And uh, that's that's a very uh, un unknown but a very important application. Now, Kira Galleries has just had a beautiful exhibition called Lighting Winter here at Fed Square. Do you want to just briefly tell us about that? Federation Square has got an annual midwinter uh, exhibi uh, exhibition or program called uh, Winter Lights, and we pro uh, we uh, we partner uh, Fed Square by having our own Light in Winter program, and uh, that is wind lights, uh, glass objects which are uh, light emitting and. Uh, we're just finishing and packing up the last one uh, because our next exhibition start comes on on Thursday of next week. And that was a very successful exhibition. It uh, created a lot of interest yep. amongst uh, amongst people, and uh, some of those people obviously were looking for things in apartments by the sound of it. Very much so. Uh, and uh, we also had our biggest piece uh, for sale on that one which was 450 kilogram uh, chandelier made up from 150 pieces that was in the uh, atrium of Fed Square and it, was, uh, it came down a, a few days ago uh, because Fed Square is now wanting their atrium back, back. Uh, yes. which is their prerogative unfortunately. Well just summing up here Peter, uh, Kira Gallery is a gallery of uh, great diversity of uh, different art forms in glass Yes. Uh, different styles of uh, well over uh, a couple of hundred Australian artists and also uh, a great variety of price. Would that be the, the sum up? And a great variety of techniques, yes. Peter, Peter Colliner, Director of Cura Galleries, thank you once again. Until next time. My pleasure.